Greetings, today is Thursday, June 29, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 5.15 in the morning local time in the regions of Guerrero and Michoacan, where we are closely monitoring the newly formed Tropical Depression No. 2 of the season. It will soon become Tropical Storm Beatriz. It is important for residents of Michoacan, Guerrero, Colima, Jalisco, and Baja California soar to pay attention to the forecast for this cyclone as it will be passing very close to the coast. It will bring some impacts of a tropical storm. On the other hand, I briefly wanted to mention that Hurricane Adrian continues to strengthen and currently has maximum sustained winds of 135 km per hour. However, it is expected to continue on a westward track and dissipate over the cold waters of the eastern Pacific during this weekend. Let's now talk about the newly formed Tropical Depression No. 2. As you can see, what was Invest 92 has strengthened into the second tropical depression of the season just south of the states of Oaxaca and Guerrero. It currently has maximum sustained winds of 55 km per hour. Some cloudiness and showers are affecting coastal regions of Michoacan and Oaxaca. These rains are expected to continue along the southern and western regions of Mexico in the coming days. There is a risk of flooding for sectors of Guerrero, Colima, Michoacan, and Jalisco. According to the latest bulletin from the National Hurricane Center, a northwestward track is forecasted for the next three days. The center of circulation of the future tropical storm Beatriz is expected to pass very close to the states of Colima and Nayarit during this weekend. Furthermore, the National Hurricane Center estimates that the future tropical storm Beatriz will strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of 120 km per hour when it comes closest to Colima and Jalisco. By the beginning of next week, it is possible that it will reach Baja California Sur as a tropical storm. Residents in this area should also continue monitoring the progress of this cyclone. In fact, a tropical storm warning has been issued for some sectors. The tropical storm warning extends along the entire coast of the state of Guerrero and a large part of the coast of Michoacan. Additionally, a tropical storm watch has been issued for sectors of Colima and the southern region of Jalisco. Cities like Manzanillo, Tecoman, Lázaro Cárdenas, Zihuatanejo, and Acapulco may experience some tropical storm conditions in the coming days. Let's briefly look at the forecast from the American model, which is predicting a Category 1 hurricane passing just south of the state of Colima and Jalisco on Saturday night. Additionally, we have the European model, which shows a strong tropical storm also passing just south of the coast of Colima and Jalisco during the early hours of Saturday morning. The forecasts from both models coincide with a track over the waters of the eastern Pacific, but close enough to the coast to experience some heavy showers and gusts with tropical storm force winds. According to the wind projection from the European model, coastal regions may experience gusts of wind between 70 to 80 km per hour, especially in coastal sectors of Colima and Jalisco. Another important effect is the anticipated rainfall. Currently, the models are projecting that the maximum accumulations will occur over the waters of the eastern Pacific. It is possible that some areas may receive rainfall accumulations exceeding 100 mm across these states. Please exercise caution and remain alert if you live in a flood-prone area. Well, that would be all for this morning's update. In the afternoon or evening hours, I will be providing an update on the forecast for the future tropical storm Beatrice. Stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone has an excellent day. Goodbye for now.